Welcome to First Word Pharma's News Roundup for November 15th, brought to you today by editorial researcher Olivia Roger. In our top news story, Accorda Therapeutics will increase the frequency of blood cell count monitoring for patients in its Phase 3 program of tozadinant for Parkinson's disease. The move comes following a number of cases of agranulocytosis, which were possibly drug-related and in some cases associated with sepsis and death. A court is said of around 890 patients who have received tozadinant. There have been seven cases of sepsis, five of which were fatal. CEO Ron Cohen said, The company doesn't yet have a hypothesis concerning the deaths, adding we have to wait and see what the efficacy profile is before we really have a balanced view. In other news, AstraZeneca gained FDA approval of Facenra for the add-on maintenance treatment of patients of severe asthma aged 12 years and older. And with an eosinophilic phenotype, the monoclonal antibody, which was in license from Kiowa Hakokirin's BioWa subsidiary, will be available in the U.S. within the coming weeks. And finally... Cardinal Health agreed to divest its Chinese business to Shanghai Pharmaceuticals under a deal valued at $1.2 billion. The sale includes Cardinal Health's pharmaceutical and medical products distribution business in China. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today.